Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, King Charles has just dropped a truth bomb bigger than Big Ben, and it's aimed squarely at our favorite royal rebel, Meghan Markle. That's right, folks. The king has had enough of Meghan's title-toting shenanigans, and he's not pulling any punches. Now let me tell you, when I first heard this news, I nearly choked on my Earl Grey. I mean, we all know the royal family isn't exactly known for their direct communication. They're usually more subtle than a fox in a henhouse. But this, this is about as subtle as a sledgehammer to the face. Let's break it down, shall we? King Charles, in all his regal glory, has essentially told Meghan, Girl, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay, maybe not in those exact words, but that's the gist of it. The palace has issued a statement that's so strongly worded, it could probably strip paint. They're basically saying, Megan, honey, you're about as much a princess as I am the Queen of Sheba, and let me tell you, I've checked my closet, and there's not a single tiara to be found. Now, I know what you're thinking, but didn't Megan marry a prince? Doesn't that make her a princess? Well, apparently not. According to the palace, being a real princess is harder than getting the last biscuit at tea time. You've got to be born into it, or marry someone who's in direct line to the throne. And Harry, bless his ginger heart, is about as close to the throne as I am to winning an Olympic gold in figure skating. But here's where it gets juicy, folks. The palace isn't just asking Meghan to stop calling herself a princess. Oh no, they're threatening legal action if she doesn't knock it off. That's right, we could be looking at the royal version of Judge Judy here. Can you imagine? All rise for the Honorable Judge, er, King Charles III. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the absolute chaos this has caused. I mean, Meghan's been using these titles like they're going out of style. Her Artwell website bio probably has more titles than a library catalog. And now she's being told to hit the delete button faster than you can say God save the king. But here's the thing that really gets me. The palace is saying that Meghan's title dropping is damaging the reputation of the British monarchy. I'm sorry, but have they seen the crown? I think that ship has sailed, capsized, and is currently residing at the bottom of the English Channel. And let's be real for a second. The monarchy has survived wars, scandals, and whatever the heck was going on with King George III. But apparently, Meghan calling herself princess on a website is the straw that's going to break the royal camel's back. I'm not buying it, folks. But wait, there's more. The palace is claiming that Meghan's false royal branding is causing confusion among the public, because apparently, the British public can handle the concept of a man being chosen by God to rule over them, but throw in a former actress using the wrong title, and suddenly everyone's scratching their heads in bewilderment. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Meghan should be running around calling herself the Queen of England or anything. But let's put this in perspective. We're talking about a family where one member thought it was a good idea to dress up as a Nazi for a costume party, and another one. Well, let's just say he's had his fair share of scandals. But Meghan using the wrong title? That's where they draw the line. And can we talk about the timing of this for a second? I mean, the world is facing some pretty serious issues right now. We've got climate change, political unrest, a global pandemic that just won't quit. But the palace decided that now was the perfect time to wage war on Meghan's LinkedIn profile. Talk about priorities. But here's what really gets my goat. This whole debacle is just another example of how the monarchy seems to be stuck in the past. They're clinging to these outdated rules and traditions like they're the last life raft on the Titanic. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is moving on, evolving, changing. Meghan, love her or hate her, represented a chance for the monarchy to step into the 21 saint century. She was a breath of fresh air in an institution that, let's face it, can sometimes feel mustier than a centuries-old tapestry. But instead of embracing change, they're sending out stern warnings like it's 1823 instead of 2023. And let's not forget, this is a family that's supposed to be all about unity and setting an example for the nation. But this public scolding of Meghan, 
It's about as unifying as a game of Monopoly at Christmas dinner. It's just going to drive an even bigger wedge between the Sussexes and the rest of the Royals. But you know what? Maybe that's exactly what Meghan wants. Think about it. She's got more press from this warning than she would have gotten from a dozen charity appearances. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity, and Meghan's probably sitting in her Montecito mansion right now, sipping on a green juice and thinking, check, and mate, Charles. Because here's the thing, folks. In today's world, attention is currency. And right now, all eyes are on Meghan. Whether she's being praised or criticized, people are talking about her. And in the age of social media and 24-7's news cycles, that's worth more than any fancy title. So, what's next in this royal soap opera? Will Meghan comply with the palace's demands? Will we see a courtroom showdown that makes suits look like a friendly game of chess? Or will this all blow over in a week when some other royal drama inevitably pops up? Personally, my money's on Meghan finding some clever loophole. Maybe she'll start referring to herself as the artist formerly known as the Duchess of Sussex. Or perhaps she'll just make up her own titles. Supreme Leader of Archwell has a nice ring to it, don't you think? But jokes aside, this whole situation is a stark reminder of the tightrope that public figures, especially women, have to walk. Meghan's been criticized for being too Hollywood, too outspoken, too different. And now she's being told she's not different enough, that she needs to stay in her lane and remember her place. It's a classic case of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Use the titles, and you're accused of overstepping. Don't use them, and you're not living up to your role. It's enough to make anyone want to abdicate and move to California. Oh, wait. And let's not forget the racial undertones that have plagued Meghan's relationship with the royal family from day one. It's hard not to wonder if this warning would have been issued if Meghan looked more like Kate and less like, well, Meghan. But here's the real tea, folks. At the end of the day, does any of this really matter? In a world facing real, serious problems, are we really going to lose sleep over whether someone calls themselves a duchess or a princess? Is this really the hill the monarchy wants to die on? Maybe, just maybe, instead of worrying about titles and traditions, the royal family should be focusing on how they can use their immense privilege and platform to actually make a difference in the world. You know, like Meghan's been trying to do with her charity work and advocacy. But what do I know? I'm just a humble YouTube critic, sipping my tea and watching this royal drama unfold like it's the latest season of The Crown. And let me tell you, if Netflix isn't taking notes for their next series, they're missing out on comedy gold. So, there you have it, folks. The latest chapter in the saga of Meghan vs. the monarchy. Will Meghan back down? Will Charles follow through on his threats? Or will we all wake up tomorrow and realize this was just a bizarre dream brought on by too much spotted dick? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, this royal roller coaster isn't slowing down anytime soon, so keep your fascinators fastened and your teacups full, because something tells me we're in for a wild ride. So stay tuned, my friends, because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then folks thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family, thank you.